But how does this encryption with SSL, HTTPS, exactly work? Well, we do encryption already for thousands of years. That Julius Caesar sent encrypted messages to his armies. But it was always based on a shared secret. What do I mean with a shared secret? Well, we both agree on a certain key, you could say. Simple example, let's say 7 stands for A, 9 stands for B, 11 stands for C. If we both know this secret, I can send you data, I can send you 7, 9, 11, and you know 7, 9, 11, oh, that's A, B, C. So we both have a shared secret, and using this shared secret, we can encrypt the data. But we became smarter and smarter with this secret. This secret became more and more complex. Or we created a secret which was only valid for one day. We, we, we created special machines, calculators, to generate this shared secret. And maybe you remember in the Second World War that the Germans built an Enigma machine. And the Enigma machine was a calculator, calculator which generated a shared secret, a very, very long key uh, used to encrypt data, to send data to the submarines. And Alan Turing, which should be the hero of many IT guys, I, I believe, Alan Turing built a machine in the Second World War uh, trying to break this Enigma machine. And uh, maybe you've seen the movie The Imitation Game. If you haven't, please do. Very good movie, I think. Uh, but in The Imitation Game, uh, you see how Alan T Turing with his colleagues uh, built maybe one of the first computers uh, trying to break this Enigma machine. But this Enigma machine uh, it, it changes settings every day, and every day it generates a very, very, very long shared secret. I watch this small clip. Have a pleasant trip back to Cambridge, Professor. Enigma. You called for me. That's what you're doing here, the top secret program at Bletchley, you're trying to break the German Enigma machine. What makes you think that? It's the greatest encryption device in history, and the Germans use it for all major communications. If the Allies broke Enigma, well, <laughs> it would turn into a very short war indeed. Of course, that's what you're working on. But you also haven't got anywhere with it. If you had, you wouldn't be hiring cryptographers out of university. You, you need me a lot more than I need you. I, I like solving problems, Commander. And Enigma is the most difficult problem in the world. No, Enigma isn't difficult. It's impossible. The Americans, the Russians, the French, the Germans, everyone thinks Enigma is unbreakable. Good. Let me try, and we'll know for sure, won't we? Welcome to Enigma. The details of every surprise attack, every secret convoy, and every U-boat in the bloody Atlantic go into that thing. And out comes gibberish. It's beautiful. It's the crooked hand of death itself. Our wrens intercept thousands of radio messages a day. And to the lovely young ladies of the Women's Royal Navy, they're nonsense. It's only when you feed them back into Enigma that they make any sense. But we have an Enigma machine. Mm, yes, Polish intelligence smuggled it out of Berlin. So what's the problem? Just put the intercepted messages back into the Enigma and you'll but get... It's not that simple, is it? Just having an Enigma machine doesn't help you to decode the messages. Very good, Mr. Turing. To decode a message, you need to know the machine's settings. Now, the Germans switch settings every day promptly at midnight. We usually intercept our first message around 6 a.m., which gives you exactly 18 hours every day to crack the code before it changes and you start again. I wrote it. Ten plug board cables. That's one million. A thousand million. Oh, no, it's, uh, I've got it. It's million, million. Oh, it's in the millions, obviously. It's over 150 million, million, million possible settings. 
Very good. 159, if you want to be exact about it. 159, with 18 zeros behind it. Possibilities. So the Germans built a machine which generated a key with 159 and 18 zeros behind it uh, of different possibilities. Uh, so that's a very complex shared secret. An Alan Turing built a machine uh, just trying all those combinations. Uh, try in one day 159 with 18 zeros. Uh, that's a very big number of combinations. Uh, so, but it's still a shared secret. Uh, Alan Turing broke the code. He broke the machine. And now uh, we were able to read all the encrypted messages of the Germans. We could decrypt uh, the, 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 the messages. Uh, that's the big danger using a shared secret. Uh, if somebody steals uh, or knows this shared secret, uh, they can all read the data. And if you want to know more, please visit our website and look for the online training IT Essentials for at Home.